What is going on guys? Today is Tuesday, May 8th, and I am actually heading up to our warehouse right now. But I just remembered that we haven't done a what sold on eBay video for the last two weeks. So what I'm gonna do is show you guys 35 items that sold for us on eBay in the past two weeks. Because we missed two weeks, I'm gonna make up for it in this video today. And for those of you who are new to our channel, this is something that we do pretty much every single week. It's a series where we show you guys the items that we've sold or some of the items that we sold on eBay in the previous week. And we're doing this throughout the entirety of 2018 so you guys can see the types of items that are selling for us throughout the year. Okay guys, let's get to the warehouse and I'll show you what sold. All right guys just got to the warehouse. I'm gonna jump over to my computer and I'll show you those 35 items that sold Let's see that now Allison's Allison's back there distressed in a shirt. Hey, babe. Hey say hi Hello, YouTube. <laughs> All right guys, let's jump over to my computer now. Okay. We'll start with this Super Mario Bros 3 Nintendo NES cartridge this thing was pretty clean picked it up at a garage sale in Texas and it sold for full price for $24.77. Next up is this new with tags Peter Millar strap back hat. You can see the back of it there. Pretty nice hat, all embroidered. This one we picked up from a thrift store and you can see it was brand new, had the tags on it and the sticker on it still. And this one also sold for full price for $21.77. Up next is this Boston Red Sox 2XL jersey. I believe that's pronounced Matsuka, Matsuka, I'm not sure. But it was Majestic brand, and this one also sold for full price, $28.99. Nice, clean Red Sox jersey. Next up is this Tampa Bay Rays, or Tampa Bay Devil Rays. That's how you can tell that this is vintage, because the name has changed from the Devil Rays to just the Rays now. So it is a vintage, off-the-bench, men's large, Tampa Bay Devil Rays jersey. And this one we had listed for $44.77, but we ended up taking a best offer on it of $32.00 just because it did have a little bit of a flaw right there and we didn't pay much for it. I believe we only paid like $2.50 for this item. Up next is this Vince brand men's small Henley t-shirt. If you guys aren't aware of Vince, it is a good high-end brand to look out for. This is just a regular t-shirt, it's like a Hanley t-shirt, and it's still sold for $20. So we had it listed for $21.77, and we took a best offer on it of $20. And the other thing is, you guys can see, we only took three pictures of this item, three pictures and the measurement. So you don't always have to take 12 pictures to get money for items. Up next are these new Tom's shoes, really nice pattern on these. These we picked up at a thrift store as well. I believe we paid four or five dollars for them. Uh, they were brand new without the box, so you can see that they're new. We didn't even try to remove the $5 price from the bottom. I know you're supposed to, but we just didn't care. We listed them. And they ended up selling for full price, $37.77. Up next is this Sheffield England knife. It's a pretty cool knife. It had a antler handle. Definitely an older knife. We had it listed for $78.88 and we ended up taking a best offer on this one for $59. We didn't pay much again for these knives. We got a whole bunch of them and a lot. So we're happy to see that one go for $59. This is a cool item. This is a plush bulldog from Dave and Buster's. It's like one of the ones you can win by playing games. This one we picked up at a thrift store as well, and we took a best offer on it of $30. So we had it listed for $37.77, and we took a best offer of $30 bucks on this little guy. Of course, we had some Tommy for your mommy sales. This is a vintage pair of Tommy Hilfiger men's size large swim trunks. This is a very, very desired pair. So it's got the big box logo flag on the front and the crest on the bottom right. This item we had listed for $39.77. We took a best offer on it of $37. And this one actually went overseas. I think it went to Germany. But as we come into the summer months, definitely be on the lookout for good vintage swim trunks like this one. Sold for full price, this is an Apple TV third gen. Not in the best condition, no remote, no cords. It's still sold for $39.77. Picked this up at a garage sale for a quarter. Interesting item here, this is a lot of two Ralph Marlin ties. One is a fish 
and the other one is like a screaming eagle almost a harley davidson look to that one they ended up selling together for 23 dollars no best offer they sold for full price you may have seen us pick this item up recently from the new goodwill that we went to this is a living air breeze air purifier it was a bigger item but we took a chance on it anyway we paid ten dollars for this item from that goodwill and it sold for full price for sixty nine dollars and seventy seven cents obviously we still had to pay quite a bit of money for shipping on this item but still decent profit on a ten dollar buy very cool vintage levi men's trucker vest here this is a trucker denim vest it was a nice big size a men's 3x and you can see some of the keywords that we used here we always put the size in we use denim definitely as a keyword trucker biker red tab those are the type of keywords you want to use for items like this. And this one we had listed for $74.77, but we took a best offer on it of $54.77 just to get rid of it. Again, we didn't pay much money for it, so can't be greedy. Better to take the money and get the sale. A pair of Athleta women's stretch pants sold for us for $34.77. Full price on this one. Nice clean pictures by Callie and always include the measurements at the end. Another good sale here, this is a men's The North Face button-up. You can tell this is an older listing of ours because we included the measurements on top of the item as the first picture. We don't do that anymore. Now we put it at the end. But this one did end up selling for full price for us for $21.77. Some Jinkos. These are definitely coming back, guys. These are original Jinko men's slacker jeans. These ones actually had some marks on the bottom here. You can see there was like a crease mark. But the graphics were good. The rest of the item was in good condition. Great embroidery on this one. And it ended up selling for full price. We sold them for $67.77. This was also a thrift store pickup. I believe for around 5 bucks. Some Barbies or rather some Kendall's. They sold for full price $24.77. Not a lot of money on them, but they were fun. Fun items, decent condition, had clothes with them as well, and we still got 25 bucks for them. An Orvis polo. I know that we do pick up a lot of Orvis items, guys. This one in particular is one that you should look out for. If you find ones that have metal buttons, if you guys can see there, there's like metal fish buttons on this one, and then you include that in your title. You can see metal fish buttons and this polo we actually ended up getting full price for $27.77 I believe that is all the money for this type of a item another full price sale on these Adidas Stan Smith CF originals these are the ones with the three velcro straps on the front of them they're in decent condition a couple marks on them but they still sold for us for $52.77 and remember guys if you are listing something with velcro closures do not put Velcro in the title. It is part of eBay's Vero program and your item will get pulled. Instead of that, use hook and loop. A nice, simple, vintage t-shirt here. This is a Nautica competition t-shirt sold for full price, $19.77. Again, you guys can see three pictures and the measurements on this one as well. Love this sale. This is an Aviator Nation ACL or Austin City Limits trucker hat. ACL is a music festival that Austin, Texas puts on every year. This one is from 2014. These hats go for a ton of money. So this one we picked up actually in Texas and it ended up selling for us for full price, $37.77. Another great brand here, guys. We picked these up at a thrift store. These are New Balance Men's Trail Running Shoes, sold for full price, $37.77. And you guys can see Callie take some of the best shoe pictures in the game. Look at these pictures. Really, really nice shoe pictures. This was a great find. We picked this up at a garage sale, ended up paying $35 for it, and it sold fairly quickly, and it sold to Canada, which was pretty interesting. It is a Tria Beauty laser hair removal system. We had it listed for $247 and we took a best offer on this item of $225. So we turned 35 bucks into $225. That's one of the reasons why we still love garage sales because we can find stuff like this and flip it very quickly. A vintage Golden State Warriors hat sold for us. This one we had listed for $47.77. We ended up taking 
taken a best offer on it of $37.77. This hat was part of the snapback collection that we picked up from a garage sale. We picked up hundreds of vintage snapbacks for $40. This was one of those hats, which is one of the reasons why we don't mind knocking 10 bucks off the price and making the sale. Some Tommy Bahama for your mama. This is a pretty good pattern, Tommy Bahama. It is a size extra large. And remember your keywords like Hawaiian and camp in the listing. This one we had posted for $22.77 and we took a best offer on it of 20 bucks. A new in the box Pelican Pro Gear hard sport wallet case. This one sold pretty quick as well. Full price $23.77. This was another garage sale pickup. Some Cole Hawn men's loafers. We started using polish to clean the shoes up that we find. So these ones we cleaned up a little bit, put some polish on them, and I feel like we end up getting more money for these type of shoes. So these Cole Hawns we sold for $40. Another pair of shoes, these are a Bally of Switzerland. They were men's size eight and a half leather loafers. Another really nice pair of shoes. These we picked up at a garage sale and they also sold for full price, $54.77. Sims Fishing is a brand that we love to find. These shirts, especially the larger sizes like this 2XL button up, they sell for very decent money for us. So in this case, this shirt sold for full price, $27.77. Just be sure on your shirts, guys, to make sure that you take good pictures and always point out flaws. So you guys can see this item actually had flaws on it. It had some decent stains on it and it still sold for full price, $27.77. Love stuff like this. We actually find these on a regular basis at garage sales and at thrift stores sometimes. And then we like to lot them together. If we find them, we'll put them in three, four packs. This was a three pack of Sony Hi8 videotapes. And again, they sold for full price. So we get about 10 bucks each for these things. They sold for $31.77. Some more Tommy for your mommy. This is a very, very nice long sleeve, huge, huge Tommy flag on the front of it. Good colors, looked really clean in the pictures. Oh, and by the way, a lot of people asked about us taking pictures of lighter colored items on a white background. As you guys can see, with lighter colored items, we actually use a black background. So we don't always use the white background. And this item we had listed for $47.88, and we took a best offer on it of $44. Sometimes it's all about the graphic, guys, like in the case of this Hendrick Motorsports Jimmy Johnson shirt. This was just a regular t-shirt. I don't know exactly where these were sold, but I think that Walmart carried them. I'm not entirely sure on that, but either way, this was a used item with really good graphics, 2016, and it sold for full price, $19.77. Another great type of item to be on the lookout for are any electronic handheld games, especially the vintage ones. This one wasn't too old, it was from 2004. It is a Radica big screen solitaire game, but these things sell very fast. If you have them listed the right way and priced the right way, they will sell very quickly. This one we didn't get too much money for, but we picked it up at a garage sale for a dollar and it sold for $17.77. Love this sale. Cali actually picked this one up. It is literally just a basic Childish Gambino shirt. I think this was really good timing on this sale because Childish Gambino just put out a new song and it is all over the place right now. So I think that is why this item sold so fast and we got full price for it for $21.77. That just goes to show you guys to look out for trends and make sure that you are buying items that are relevant to today's markets. And last but not least, this is a pair of New Balance men's size 14, pretty big size, Minimus trail running shoes. These shoes were used and they still sold for full price. We got $54.77 for them. Again, guys, just make sure you're taking good pictures and you describe your items in the right way. This one, we actually took a bunch of pictures, as you can see here, and they did have the Vibram or Vibram. Vibram, I guess is how you pronounce that souls good sale there fifty four dollars and seventy seven cents and there you go guys again remember these are actual sales actual items that we've sold on ebay in this case it was in the last two weeks but again we do videos like this we try to do them on a weekly basis so we can show you guys the type of items that are selling for us so make sure you subscribe please give this video a thumbs up and we will see you guys on the next one peace out guys bye bye